That's fine, the Lord has brought us. Hello and welcome to the standpoint. Yes, still celebrating 13 years. And if you indeed follow the standpoint, you realize that we are one of the programs that we do not discriminate. Irrespective of your religion, your background, your financial status, it is a platform for women, young people. It is a platform for this, the discussion of issues affecting women. And one of our strong partners has been the Muslim community. Mm -hmm. We've had programs with a lot of Muslims, some specific for Muslims, others with, you know, a mixture of Christians and non-Christians, you know, Muslims and what have you. And we have had about seven Muslim women conferences organized by us to celebrate the standpoint anniversary and in september we'll be having another one that will be the eighth today i have three of my muslim sisters here they are coming to share the importance of the standpoint to the muslim community how the standpoint has benefited or impacted the lives of especially muslim women and our collaboration with the ghana muslim mission for the past three years in organizing the Muslim Women's Conference. It's going to be very educative and very exciting. And I say thank you to the Ghana Muslim uh, Mission for agreeing to be a part of our special month of celebration. Well, let me say thank you to GTP for my club. This is Adipa. It comes in 12 years most of the time. And I say thank you to Bri Redria for making those beautiful dress for me. She made this dress for me. I'm so grateful to her. My makeup by Michelin Samira and makeup product by Note Cosmetics. And my hair, mm -hmm. my hair is by Inshila G8. And then my shoe, my beautiful shoe, eh, my beautiful shoe. Can you see it? Yes. It's by Afrax Classicals or At Closet. We take a break when we come back. We'll look at the standpoint love affair with the Muslim community. We'll be back. Welcome back to the standpoint and yes we are celebrating 13 years and today we are about to talk about our love affair the standpoint love affair with the Muslim communities and do you know that the first two episodes of the standpoint very first two aired on 11th of July and 18th of July had two Muslims on it it had Haji Ali Mahama and now Haji um, Hamida Nuhu you know, there's another name, <laughs> forgive me for not, but she's with the office of the, of the president. Yes, he had two Muslims and then one Christian. On. Okay, so it was two, two, we shared it. Me and Auntie Les, Les for Nasari. So we go way back and we want to find out, has the Muslim community benefited? Has the standpoint benef impacted the lives of Muslim, especially Muslim women? and girls in any way in our past 13 years of existence and also our relationship with the Ghana Muslim Mission. Amazing group. That Because of that, you will talk about that later. Well, <laughs> let me say thank you to our sponsors. That's GTP, still timeless. GTP is on an Oga campaign. That's original 
genuine and authentic GTP. If you want to buy GTP and you want to get the original one, the Oga, you make sure you go to any wooden shop across the country or any of the GTP accredited dealers nationwide. And you also have the option of going to www.buygtp.com. We also say thank you to Esteron Balloons and Accessories. Everything balloons and accessories, I mean, they are there. They will fix you. They will sort you out big time. Balloons are for all occasions. We are grateful to our Frax Classicals as well. You know, normally when I'm having a special program with my Muslim sisters, brothers and sisters, I'll do my turban or my scarf. But today, my shadapa. <laughs> Beauty in diversity, you know. Combining, that's what we do on the standpoint. It's not about your religion. It's not about your gender. It's not, actually, it's about your gender, yes. But it's not about your financial background, ethnicity, nothing, no. It's about the fact that we all have issues as a women and we need to discuss it. So on my set, beautifully adorned by three amazing women. Right opposite me is Zanira Teiko Aiko, who is a teacher. Welcome to the standpoint. Thank you. And next to her, I have Hawa Dede Kwao Ansa, who is a pharma uh, pharmacy technician. Technician, hey, your name's small, like you go know. It's a Kwao Ansa. It nearly became Ansa Kwao. We have something in common. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the stand, Thank boy. You. And next to her is my sister. Whenever we are having Muslim women's uh, conference, the meetings and up and down, she she will fix me small time. Oh, me you small. You have a more. You drink. She will fix me. Children. <laughs> <laughs> she she is Rahina Ajay and she is an administrator. Welcome to the standpoint. Thank, Thank you. you very much. How do we find our set? Beautiful. Mm. We wanted to give it a garden look. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> it look natural. It looks natural. exactly <laughs> to give it natural look. Sure. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Rohina, tell me a bit about you. Rohina, as a married woman with two children, and she's into makeup as well. Oh, okay. You do yeah. makeup, okay? Yes. Okay. So. That's a bit about Rahina. Okay. I'm Hawa. Yes. Hawa is also a married woman with two boys. Okay. Yes. One is at the university now, and the other as SS3. Yes, the second one is at SS3 now. Your first is at the university? Yes, ma. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you look like you, you are now about to go to the university yourself. <laughs> Yes, I'm a pharmacy technician. Yeah. I work with West Point Chemist. Okay. Yes, Kolebu. Kolebu. Oh, yes. okay. Zinera. Yeah, I'm a professional qualified teacher. Okay. I work with GES. Okay. I'm married with two kids. Okay. Why? <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. <no? laughs> God, that please bring my own so that we can do it. Because it's too much. to be balanced. Why? Yeah. There must be balance. <laughs> but. Have you watched The Standpoint before? Yes. It's one of my favorite um, program on telly when it started from GBC. Okay. Every Friday evening, I don't, never mix it. Wow. Uh -huh. oh, okay. <laughs> but okay. now I watch it on YouTube, on my free time, and uh -huh. okay. so I follow it. Yeah. Okay. So you're a family <laughs> member. <laughs> Dinner? Yes. What about you? Oh, yeah. I also do watch it. Mm -hmm. There was this time that I even learned a lot uh -huh, from the program. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what was your first impression when it started? When you, how did you hear about it anyway? I was just tuning into any program on TV and then it came up. Okay. Standpoint. So okay. I just said, let me follow and see what is, what is being discussed on TV. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Just then and by then, it was an entrepreneur um, talk show. Okay. With this, your guests who came to teach us something about how to um, set your business, how to start your business, how to know what you want from the business, where to start it, and then what to begin with. Right. So, yeah. So, she took us through the steps and 
I got mine from there. I learned something little, and okay. I realized I had to start something. Wow. Oh, right okay. from there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you start a small business from there. Oh, okay, yes. what's the business? <laughs> <laughs> what business are you doing now? <laughs> I'm now into... Um, Anyway, it hasn't grown much. It, 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 it hasn't grown every much. Every little helps. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every little helps. But I, I'm just glad I'm, I thank God for that. Rahina, yes. what about you? Before we met Before we and met. started our thing. Yes. yes. <laughs> I was really following all the time. The uh, Especially when Muslim women come on the set and Muslim men as well. Mm -hmm. I'm all over here listening to them. And it is so heartwarming to see your Muslim sisters discussing issues on telly, especially when it's not a Muslim organized. Yeah, okay. so it is my... Recently, the, the, the most touching one was the, uh, the, the about the Mother's Day, yeah. when the lady, the miracle baby, Sash, yeah. was, it, it was really it, touching. It, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I really enjoyed it a lot. Yeah. I, I, I learned a whole lot. It, it's, it's amazing. To see women go through a lot because of childbearing and mm -hmm. I, the lady, she really went through a lot, yeah. seriously. But it made you realize how, how fortunate you are, seriously. how blessed you are. Seriously. You so we always, have to, I we always have to thank God. Yeah. <laughs> how did you watch that one? Have you seen that one? The no. one she's talking about? You haven't watched that one? Okay. But, okay, how, what's your general impression about the program? The standpoint is, apart from you watching and learning from it, what, what is your general impression uh, about it? The standpoint is an educative program, and it has a lot of impact on, especially, women. Yes. And the motivational message, it motivates you a lot. Mm -hmm. It make you feel good mm. that you are a woman. Mm. It make you feel that yes, I'm also a somebody. I shouldn't look down on by myself. Whatever I'm doing, I have to try and do it to the best of my ability. Mm. And inshallah, you get somewhere. Mm. So standpoint is a very good program. Yeah. I follow it and I enjoy it. Okay, thank you very <laughs> much. But how, what, do you think, as a Muslim, you have really like Zinera? Um, you have benefited from it as a Muslim, not as a woman, but as a Muslim. Do you think you've benefited from the standpoint by watching it? Oh, yes. I think I have. Me being an educator, mm. I watched the program and I got to know there are avenues where we can live for our young ones in the schools, mm. among the Muslim girls. Mm -hmm. Because you bring in... Um, motivational speakers who give us some form of education mm -hmm. through the show. And we are able to know that when you also aspire higher, you can also make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Rahina. Yeah. Listening to mm. the Rahina. Rahina. Mm. Listening to the feminine side. Listen. Oh, <laughs> 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 yeah, because you know, I, I asked because you know, um, there are people in Isha who will think that, okay, she's not a Muslim. She's not one of us, you know, and the program that she does, you know, her level of knowledge of Islam. For me, I have learned since I started a yes. standpoint and, you know, interacting with Muslims, I've learned a lot. And it's propelled me to bigger platform because wherever I go, especially when I see a woman, a Muslim in the crowd, I, I include it and talk about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon his name, and talk about what the, what the Quran talks about women. Yes. Or not so much from reading the Quran, yeah. though I pick bits and pieces. Sometimes I, I read when I'm giving, you know, um, verses from the Quran to read, yeah. I read it. But from what I learn from those who have been on and the speakers sure. during um, the Muslim Women's Conference. Mm -hmm. So for me, it has helped me a lot. But I want to find out how it has helped the Muslim community. Yeah. Not you, but the Muslim community. Sure. The Muslim community has benefited a lot from the standpoint. Because I I'll, would I'll, I'll like to cite an example. The, when we had the Muslim Women Conference and a girl was supposed to 
be withdrawn from school for marriage purposes. Uh -huh. The standpoint went in, took the girl, and the, the project started, one CD project yes, yeah. was able to take care of this girl through SS and to the university. I'm sure by now she has finished yeah, university. she's an accountant. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. So just for this alone, the Muslim community, because if this lady should be an accountant and people from the Muslim community will benefit and with her, her morals in Islam, she will be able to be a very good accountant. That wouldn't be adding zeros mm -hmm. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and she will go a very long way to impart in the society. And for that, it's a plus for the standpoint. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I can say with that alone, mm -hmm. you've benefited a lot. There are others that, yeah, other examples can be when girls are giving uh, pad, pants, mm -hmm. uh, even cream, body creams, Creams, and yeah. all that. We're during the COVID uh, period when well, we came yes, to distribute. Yes, yes, There is yeah. a lot we are benefiting, mm -hmm. and we thank God so much for it. Amen, amen. Thank God. How are <laughs> Yes. Like my sisters have said, it's helping the Muslim community a lot. We all know formally with the Muslim ladies, mm -hmm. we are always there. Sometimes you don't even know your value. You are just there. Whatever you are doing, you have been selling something small, petty trading. That is all that you do. And you don't appreciate what you are doing and you don't come out with your God-given talents. But through standpoints, the motivation, the powerful messages, and the encouragement, I know it has helped a lot to come out, mm. to speak out as a Muslim woman. And secondly, to the um, resource person you have been bringing on the program, it has taught us a lot that, mm. yes, you can go through education, you can be educated to the highest level you want, and still practice your Islam as it should be. Right. So we, we have learned a lot. We have okay. learned, especially with the Muslim women you have been bringing right. on your program, like right. Ajia Fatia, Dr. Rabiatu. Yeah. Yes, they yeah. are all big women we yeah. can look up to. Yes, right. to follow. Right. Thank you very much. Right, right. I'm, I'm glad to hear this because, um, you know, in everything that you do, you need to be deliberate. And we deliberately set out to bring out, you know, role models in Muslim yes. communities because... I, I felt that, listen, it's okay for my Muslim daughters to say, I look up to you, Auntie Gifty, I just, but I'm not a Muslim. There's so many things about Islam that I don't understand. So be like me, is, it, it, does, it will not bring her full potential as a Muslim young lady. So bring in mentors, role models from the Muslim community, for them to see them and look up to you that, ah, so we have, uh, I remember the one we did with um, Dr. Um, Baba, um, she's, she's a, a doctor at 37, she's a gynecologist, you know. We, we, did, we, we, we did a program with her, I mean, she, she was the only female um, gynecologist who's a Muslim that I knew you know, she came on, and because of her, I have three girls now, wow. Muslims, who also want to go into gynecology because we talked about the fact that, you know, we know in Islam sometimes it's uncomfortable to go to a male gynecologist. And so because of that, a lot of women, Muslim women, are not going for gynecological checkups and all that. So if we know that there's a female from your own community, it makes it easier, yes. you know. So I'm glad that you testify that yes. it's it benefited you yourself yes. and then the community as well. I'll take a break when we come back. We'll look at what you would want to see us doing again after 13 years and on, you know, on the journey. What would you expect us? What would you love us to do for the Muslim community? Not just Muslim community, but, you know, Ghanaian women, yeah, girls, and then young people as well. While well, you're watching the standpoint, let me say thank you to our supporters. Go got to your God. Awake Purified Mineral Water and uh, Puma Drinks from Casa Preco Company Limited. Thank you to House of Food, Cake Technique. Thank you so much, Mrs. Oferipoko and the family. We are always grateful to you. Thank you to Yep Cleaning Services and Kodam's Gift and Stationery. Thank you once again to Jill's Time. 
We are grateful to all of you. Remember, this program is aired on five platforms. That's Joy Prime, EBN TV, YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And then, of course, Facebook and our website, www.thestandpoint.com.gh, powered by Dream Oval. We'll be back. Oh, and you, you didn't add that one of the things, we don't advertise alcohol on the program. Yeah. It's true. It's a plus for you. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Hello, lovely people of Ghana. It's been 13 amazing years since the standpoint was introduced on our TV streams. And trust me, it has been amazing. I've learned so much from the standpoint, from interviews, people's experiences. And I've learned a lot. I've met, I've met people. I've met amazing people like Uncle Ebo White. I think that was my first time on the standpoint in 2016. And I got to meet Mami Oheniri Olga. I got to meet her for the first time. And Standpoint has been a great program. And um, as women, Mami is always advocating for better things to come our way. And her nuggets at 50 and her books and a bit of me. At the Standpoint, God be the glory. I'm great that I've learned so much from this program. Mommy, may God continue to give you strength to do more. And may Standpoint get more sponsorship. And may better things come our way. May we get more partnership with other people so that Standpoint can reach other people. And start with the Girl Need Foundation and others. So, uh, kudos to the Standpoint at 13 years. To God be the glory. To the team everyone who has gotten involved and oh i miss being a part of the audience of the standpoint family it's a really great experience and i enjoy every bit of it welcome back to the standpoint thank you so much to gtp for my cloth Brie Radio made my dress. And then, of course, makeup by Michelin's Mirror. My shoe is by Afrax Classicals or Art Closet. Makeup product, Note Cosmetics. And on my set today, I have, oh, my hair by Inshilo GH. Thank you so much to all of you. I'm so grateful. On my set, I have Zinera, I have Rahina, and I have Hawa Dede. Now, let's learn a bit more about Islam and the Ghana Muslim mission. Yes. Before, you know, when I said we'll talk about what is, but let's learn about the Ghana Muslim mission. What is it about? Tell me about it. Ghana Muslim mission is a non political, mm -hmm. non. Uh, Rahina, uh, I know you speak like that. <laughs> so I beg. Mm -hmm. Ghana Muslim mission uh, is a. a a non-profit making organization and it's non-political so we deal with any government in power uh -huh. it's not it's an for not for profit so we don't make profit out of our uh, dealing so it's an islamic institution where which deals with the quran and the sunnah okay. so basically Muslim, ghana muslim mission is about the quran and the sunnah of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay. so that's what you do we do a so it's, lot. It's, it's an, is it like an association? Yes. Okay. Okay. And it's an Islamic organization, actually. Okay. Islamic organization. So yeah. it doesn't matter if you are an Almadi, you are it um, um, an Orthodox. Yes. It, we invite everyone. Okay. With the intention that our teachings can change your perception. Okay. Yes. Okay. It's all. It's 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 about teachings. Yes, it's about teachings. So we do every Sunday at Ghana Muslim Mission across board. We do Islamic teachings every Sunday. So from the children to the adults, we always learn. Okay. So so when you say across, it's a what? You have branches all over the country. Exactly. Okay. So in Accra alone, we have branches. We have the Kaneshi branch. We have Russia branch. We have Sakumono branch. We have a Tuba branch, which is yet to be commissioned. And then we have other societies involved. 
here. Then across board in the sense that we have we are in Ashanti region, we are in Western region, Central region, and the likes. Okay. It's a national thing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, how, how did you become a member? <laughs> I became a member by birth. My parents oh. were there already. Okay. Yes. They were part of the Ghana Muslim Mission already. Okay. They, they are in one of the branch before they gave birth to me. So from there, we also grew up from there, learning our Islamic teachings and values from there. Yes, I want to add something small to my sister. Mm -hmm. what is, yes, Ghana Muslim Mission, we do mostly, um, our principles, teachings is from the Quran and Addicts. Mm -hmm. And one of our main aim to help in national development. Okay. So Ghana Muslim Mission, we have schools across the country. Okay. That is our vision and our main objective. Learning to be good Muslims. If Allah permits, grant us the Hakira, that's the year, year after. Okay. Then to help in national development. Helping in national development as a Muslim you also benefit a lot from it. Mm. Because we Muslims believe in Saraka to Jairia. It means there are some things you do when even you are dead and go, still you receive blessings from the Almighty Allah. Mm. Like building a school, building a mosque, not building it on your own, but even support the small contribution you do to the building. Right. That thing is there and whoever worship in that mosque, you will be receiving blessings, even if you are dead and gone. Okay. Building a school, hospitals, facilities which should be used by the community. Okay. Even constructing a bridge or okay. a well for people to fetch water out of it. So Ghana Muslim Mission is also one of our main objectives, aside okay. learning the Quran and Addis. I see. So you yes. have built schools. We have built schools. Mosque, over 100. Hospitals. Yes. Bridges and all those. Yes. You do all those things. As such now, we are building <coughs> university at Kumasi. We have the land. It's near tech. We have the land. Oh, we wow. have walled it. And we are started constructing very soon. We have our SHS there. Wow. Yes. It's called um, Islamic Senior High. And the whole Ghana is the school which takes the most higher population. Mm. It can take 5,000 students. If you check the GES, I think my sister here from the GES can talk a lot about that. Oh, wow. Yes, so Ghana Muslim Mission is helping a lot. And we want all Muslims to come on board so that we'll support each other and build more schools for our children to go whilst they learn the secular education, they have the Islamic knowledge to assign it. Wow, this is amazing. I didn't know this aspect. Yes. Oh, okay, please add to it, you know. <laughs> Were you also born into it? Oh, yes. My parents are also in Ghana Muslim Mission. Mm -hmm. So the mission has been, the organization has been around for how long? Mm -hmm. Since 1957. Yeah. Since 1957. Yeah. What's the history? Who started it? It was a, a, a man who was, um, he wasn't a Muslim by then. But he, he, he was born into a Christian religion. But as time went on and he started learning about Islam, he got to understand what the religion is about and started organizing people. So his colleagues that were with him started organizing them one after the other. So that was how we, we got a society called Ghana, a guy Italo Islamiyat. When they started, um, that was the first name they gave to Ghana Muslim Mission. Okay. Ha. So it started like that, just some few people. So they, they gave uh, positions to themselves. This being the chairman, this being the secretary, and they started like that. It got to a point, they they, they started growing. And then from a guy in Tadu, they got a branch in Kaneshi. Then others start, anytime somebody will move from a place to another, they, they, they establish the place and then they form a branch. So this is how come we've grown so far. Amazing. <laughs> yes. Amazing. We don't also organize uh, or establish just a branch, but we also build mosques in those yes, places. Yes. yes. So when you establish a build a mosque, we where build people a mosque, yes. will go and... 
much. Wow. And then we get a school alongside. Say, actually, you know, I told you that I learned a lot, you yes. know, from, mm -hmm. from this program. Yes. I see. Mm. And one of the things that attracts me to the Ghana Muslim Mission is your strong feminine presence. The sure. women, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, the women are well organized. Yeah. Yes. You know, and they come and they, they like hold the fort. Do they sure. push the, the, the organization? Mm -hmm. can, you, can you talk a bit about that? Yes. The, from the first group we had from the um, Ghana Muslim Mission, we had a women fellowship. As yeah. the Ghana Muslim Women Fellowship, yeah. and it was when I, I, I became close to the Ghana Muslim Mission that I, I heard about you know women, Muslim women fellowship. Women fellowship. Yeah. fellowship. Yeah. I, women fellowship. I, I thought it was the Methodist <laughs> and Presbyterian <laughs> Pentecost, and you know, yeah. um, you it's, it's over uh, sixty years now. Mm, women fellowship, yes, and that platform paves way for us, the young ones, to learn. Mm. Mm -hmm. We have inspirational and motivational people who come around to teach us every Friday and Sundays. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So we learn from there and they try to um, motivate the young ones because to aspire for position, high positions in society. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that they don't see themselves to be married materials and then Only. just um, within secondary school, GHS, and then you just thinking of marriage. They try to teach us a lot. So that one pushes you, the Muslim girl, to try and then move on further with your education to also become someone in society. Mm -hmm. you, yeah, you want to add something? Apart from the women fellowship, we have the men fellowship and the youth as well. Okay, the, uh -huh. men, the men fellowship. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a chair with you. So, uh, you know yeah, I'm the youth. <laughs> And then, yes, the you have youth. a strong the youth fellowship. The youth fellowship. I think so, yeah, the, yeah, the president experience. of the youth fellowship uh, is yes. my friend. Yes. But now, he's, the whole of last year, I didn't hear of him because oh, there was COVID. So you know, so 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 <laughs> you know, tell him we are coming in September, we are going sure, to have the sure, conference again. Sure. So I'll need him. Exactly. I see. So that's, that's, that's amazing. So, properly structured. Very, very. You know, and well involved in national development. Sure. Yes. Yeah. I have to take another break, but before we go, you know what I'm going to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah, la, la. Oh. Ah. <laughs> sing for me, oh, you when you came oh, 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 sing. Let's sing. Uh, 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 let's sing. Which one? The one that I, I like. Uh, which one do you like? I think there's a guy in it or something. Uh, ah, that is it. That's the song. You oh, see? Yeah. <laughs> Please let's go. Ajo wo, 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 I don't I don't I don't I I don't oh, oh, I I I I I I There be peace, there will be, be love, love, and there will be happiness. Unity. Wow, unity. unity. Amazing. Well, is it because um, 
the this is Accra brand. That's why you have the Ghana song. Yes. yes. So when you go yes. to Ashanti, too, you have the tree. Yes. You sing it in yes. tree wherever and you we go. We have English songs as English well. songs. Yes. Yes. I, yes. English songs as well. You know, and one of the things I find quite unique about the Ghana Muslim Mission is, that at least the people I've come into have their local names, their yes. Ghana names, yes. like they. they you have the new kind. New kind. You have the you, you know they keep their <laughs> gun names, gun names, and the tree names and yeah. all that. What what is you? Why is that? Because most before then, most of the Muslims I knew yeah. not. I mean, I knew the um, the um, Ahmadis, yeah. the Ahmadis. Yeah. You know, they would keep it because you know I'm a Fanti, so I yeah. know a lot from the yeah. central region. But then most of the people I knew who were Muslims had to change that. I am Hannah to, mm. you know, uh, Abu Bakr, you know. But how come you are allowed to keep your local names? Uh, the religion doesn't discriminate, like, doesn't take you out of your tribe mm. or where you're coming from. So you hold your, 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 your grounds, like, where you're coming from is intact. You have to learn about the religion. The religion really doesn't change names. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so if... You're not forced to take change. on a Muslim no. name. No, no, no. Or an Islamic it, it, name. Okay. Yeah. I should say Islamic name, not yeah. a Muslim yeah. name. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. When, when your surname is mentioned, you know where you're coming from. Everybody knows where you're coming from. Uh -huh. So for, let's say, the Northerners and the rest, they have their, a way of naming themselves. So they name themselves after their father. Uh -huh. But for girls, we take family names, just like the Ashantis and the Fantis. Yeah. So girls are like that. So we've been Muslims that didn't change that. Okay. Yeah. So we, what is important is for you to learn the ways of Islam and live by it. Yes. It's a practical yeah. religion. Yeah. So we practice it. As, you, you should see the Islam in me, not my name. Okay. That's it. Okay. Okay, I've been saying I need to take another break. When we come this time, we'll look at the standpoint and what do you expect from it. Well, let me say thank you to our sponsors. That's GTP, Timeless GTP, is on the Oga campaign. Make sure you buy the original, genuine, and authentic GTP fabrics from within shops and accredited you know, GTP dealers across the country. And of course, you can buy online, www.buygtp.com. Thank you also to... Restaurant balloons and accessories, everything balloons and accessories, they will sort you out. A Frax Classicals, we are grateful and we are grateful to Note Cosmetics for our gift for our panelists and Life Boy also for the gift for our panelists. We take a break when we come back. We'll come and have some candid talk about what we expect from the standpoint. <music> Welcome back to The Standpoint. And again, I say thank you to our supporters. Good God to your God. Awake Purified Mineral Water and Puma Drinks by Casa Preco Company Limited, House of Food, Cake Technique, Kodam's Gifts and Stationery, everything gifts and stationery. Just get there and they will sort you out. Yep, Cleaning Services. We are grateful to them as well. Juice Time. And of course, website www.thestandpoint.com.gh powered by dream oval we are so grateful to all of them please make sure you follow us on social media on instagram on twitter on facebook on facebook please turn on your notifications so that anytime we put or we are streaming you know we stream on facebook every sunday at 8 p.m 8 p.m so you'll be notified wherever you are and subscribe to our youtube channel okay please a YouTube channel. Okay, that's that point. Subscribe to it as well. Now to my my guests. Amazing women who are teaching me a lot. Yes. You were saying something about now you have a college of what? Yes, we have a college of education, Islamic College of Education, yeah. which is commissioned this year at Beposo. So this year we have built our first year Muslim. built by the Ghana Muslim Mission. The same because we have our HSH there. That one has been there for long, but it's the Islamic College of Education that was commissioned this year. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we have our first year students 
there now at the school. Who are some of the big people behind the, or inside the Ghana Muslim Mission? I hope you know. When I mention the names, you, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> Our national chairman. Okay. Uh -huh. Dr. Sheikh Amin Bonsoso. Bonso. Okay. He's a national chairman. He's a national yes. chairman. Okay. We have um, Mr. Esuman, Abubakar Esuman. He's a general secretary. Okay. So some of the big men. Okay. We have other uh, uh, Ahmed Kwaku. He's a vice chairman. Okay. And then um, we have, I think we, let, let, if I say I'll mention Dr. Rabia too. I was waiting for the women's name. Ah, it, she, she, she is uh, um, yeah, she is part of the Council of Elders, okay. National Council of okay. Elders. Dr. Rabia too. Yes. Okay. Okay. During the Mama era. Okay. Yeah. He was a member of the Council yes. of State. Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay. And she is a, a Council of Elders, the okay. National of Ghana Muslim, Muslim, Muslim Mission. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well. The notion behind this building of a um, College of Education, okay. we realized um, when teachers are being posted to Islamic schools, they find it a bit difficult going. Because they don't really have much knowledge about Islam. Mm -hmm. So we brought up this idea of um, establishing a college of education where we produce teachers who are Muslims uh -huh, to teach in our Islamic schools. Okay. Because we have the Islamic school as a unit under the GES. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. okay, so was it, is it open to only Muslims? No. Or? Oh, no. Okay, it's open, it's open to, to all, all. but yes. at least when you but go there, you get an understanding yes. of what a Islamic little, education is yes. about and how to, it's, you know, do it. It's that. so yeah. surprising when it was commissioned this year, the number of people who, who, who were enrolled are more than, uh, they, the number of non-Muslims are more yeah. than the Muslims that are enrolled to the wow. school this year. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So at least they can take something with them yeah, that exactly. will be able, they will feel free when they are teaching Change the Muslim yes, children. Yeah. That yeah. is wisdom, you yeah. know. That is wisdom. Looking at okay, instead of complaining all the time, yeah, okay, we yeah. find yeah. solutions yeah. to it. We are doing something about yes. it, you yes. know. Yes. That that is progressive. Yes. yes. Wow, wow, amazing. I thought we were just going to talk about standpoint, but at least we are learning. Yeah, and sure. really, this is what the standpoint is about, about, you yes. know. So because yeah, I'm sure a lot of people watching, even some Muslims themselves, will be surprised that, that yes. they don't know yes. that. There's something Very like true. this going on. Very Amazing. True. Okay. So, Rahina, about the standpoint. You say, I wait, want, see. Yes. What do you want to see? I want to see the standpoint mm -hmm. coming into our communities. We, mm -hmm. we, we have to be working mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, apart from... You move from the studio sometimes, eh? <laughs> yes. So, okay. so that <laughs> okay. the, the community will feel us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. They, will, they will be welcoming us so that they will see what is actually happening. Okay. Uh -huh. So that is one. Okay. Then um, number two, maybe the we we can be having experimentals like when the standpoint comes to the community, there are certain girls that will be needing some help, not uh, monetary wise, but let's say some talk to like guidance yes. and counseling. Okay. Right. Yes, and okay. I think when we do that, okay. it will go a long, long way. way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. How are, how are they dick? <laughs> yes, um, to add to what my sister said, um, what I want the standpoint to do, already you are on the move, but me, I want standpoint to bring in more Islamic Muslims women who are educated and they are at a high level so that our children will take them as their mentor, they will learn from it. Okay. I think the standpoint is forcing the Muslim woman to come out to speak. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes they are there, they are hiding, they don't know that they can also go far. But with this mentor, then they will see them on telly, then they will know that, no, I want to be like Dr. Rabia too. I want to be like Ajia Fati. At the University of Legon. Yeah. Yes. That's my sister, so, you know. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yes. So me, my expectation is to bring those people more okay. on board okay. for us to okay. see them and emulate their okay. example. Okay. Thank you. Great. Okay. All right. 
Tisha? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have it this way, if I can have it that Please. way. Yes. Um, to have any collaboration with the gender ministry, and then to come down to GES mm -hmm. in, co in collaboration with our girl-child coordinators so that we can go to the schools, meet the young girls, try and give them motivational messages okay. uh -huh, to give them some encouragement for them to know that you being a girl or a feminine, you have this power, the power to change everything around you. Uh -huh. The power that you have, you use it to um, motivate others to learn from other women because they have made it. So you learn from them and you also try to aspire to become big women just like they have. You have the power to impart that knowledge you learn from those motivational speakers into your home to teach your siblings, even your parents. And then when you have a family, you can use it to develop your family. Inshallah. We'll get it, it will get there. We'll get Inshallah, there. moving on, we'll do that. Well, thank you very much for yeah. coming to share. Thank you very much for the feedback and for the suggestions. And of course, the education. We're so grateful. And I want you to carry our gratitude to your leadership, national, regional, for the support we've received, especially from the Ghana Muslim Mission for the past three years that we've been having the Muslim Women's Conference yes. with with you. It's been amazing. I even have goosebumps. Yeah. We've never had to pay for the use of the venue. <laughs> We've never had to pay for the use of um, the word chairs, yes. deck or light. Yeah. We, you don't charge us for anything. And what pleases, I mean, what touches me is the fact that sometimes you make contribution Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes. <laughs> Meat pie. Meat pie. No, they bring food, yeah. you know, to support what we have brought. I mean, nothing is asked of us. Yeah. From the regional chairman, yeah. who will sit in meetings with us yeah. to plan to ask us what we want to do to do and your the imam. The imam. Hey, yes. the imam is the regional. Yeah, yeah, imam. My sweetheart. Yes. <laughs> My sweetheart. We surprised him two years ago. His yeah. birthday. Yeah. <laughs> We yes. took him by surprise. Yes. He was shocked. <laughs> you know, yes. so he, he will sit, the, um, the Rita Imam himself will sit in a meeting with us, yeah. with the chairman. And I mean, it's just so hard. The, the, the acceptance yeah. we get from is amazing because, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian, I'm not a Muslim. And I've never been made to feel that you are not one of us. Yeah. So, or who are you to come and teach us what to do or to come and do but it's always been like welcoming the last time how the even the kumasi people were and fighting yeah, that we should come to sure. kumasi wow. cape coast wanted us to come and it was so heartwarming you know and we've had a set up we've had it for seven seven years most of we four about four times we had it this premises you yeah. know in front of the studio and sometimes upstairs but when we moved in there and the kind of, I, I can't, yeah. you know, describe it. And so we are grateful, really yes. grateful. Every woman called to worship, you, you represent, welcome. you come there in your numbers to be a part of it. And I, I can never, you know, thank you enough. You're thank welcome. you now. But You're since welcome. the three of you are here, mm. me too, I want to thank the three of you for coming. Oh. <laughs> I have some package for you. Oh. This one is from Life Boy. It has their soap, you know, their bathing soap. It has their hand washing soap and then the, 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 uh, add in your friends, uh, sanitizer. Okay. It has the sanitizer in it. This, so we'll pass it on to teacher Thank for me. Thank you. Yeah. And nice. this one Thank is you. makeup from Note Cosmetics. Cosmetics. It has eyeshadow, it has a lipstick. Yeah. Ah, but life, I'm if you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> That's it. So the yeah. same thing here for right. you, Hawa. This one, and then this cosmetic for you. Thank you. Thank you. And then this one too. Oh. Yeah, for you. Thank you. This is a surprise. Yes, this is for you. <laughs> like to say, we appreciate you. You are a representation you. of um, our Muslim um, sisters 
who are being patronizing and grooming and doing all the things that you do and we are grateful. Now, in conclusion, what do you have to say um, to the Muslim community women concerning the standpoint? What advice have you got to give them? Well, I will advise all Muslim women to be watching the standpoint because it's a source of education for us. You learn something from there every time. You get people who come and they motivate you. They inspire you to know that you are a woman and you can make it in life. How are you? <laughs> yes. Like my sister said, everybody has to tune in and watch Standpoint. You learn a lot from it. Me, what kills me is the motivational messages, <laughs> the encouragement. Right. Please, everybody should watch it and you learn a lot from it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would love to say that um, we should be contributing. And nowadays, I don't know, I, I've not been seeing the... Uh, the girl in it found it. Yeah. Now, one Ghana CD. No, <laughs> I at the uh, ECD. ECD. And these days, the banks, they don't mind that. So our box, they don't uh, put it there. Because mm. I've so not been, I, I yeah. normally see it at Colibu Branch. Yeah. So now we uh, use the Momo. Oh, yeah, okay. the 0544-844-122. Right. 0544-844-122. So I'll oh, yes. Thank you. Thank contribute. you so much. We are welcome. grateful. Thank you. Right. So I'll be back with a bit of me. my proudest moment as a journalist, as a gender advocate, a feminist and host of The Standpoint and executive producer of The Standpoint is my meeting with a national chief imam in 2016 when a young girl was um, you know, about to be married off and I ran to him for help for this young girl. He, he, he's told me so many things and one of them that stuck with me is that Islam is not against girl-child education. It is not. In fact, Islam talks about ensuring that you seek knowledge as far as to China. And he explained that those things, there were no cars, there were no airplanes. So China was the farthest place you could go on camel or on foot, you know. Told me very interesting stories and told me about there's nothing wrong with learning from each other. There's nothing wrong with learning from mainstream uh, media and education and so on and so forth. It's all about empowering yourself and not losing focus of who you are and whose you are. If you're Muslim, if you're Christian, if you're Hindu, whatever religion you belong to. And one of the things I'm also proud of 
as the host of the standpoint or originator of the standpoint is that we've never had to discriminate against anybody on this platform. Irrespective of your religion, there are certain people who it was when it is when they come on the platform that I get to know that they are, you know, Hindus or you know, Buddhist or atheist. Yes, I've had atheists on the program before. I didn't know they were atheists. On the program, they talked about it, but it's okay. This is a platform, general platform for everybody. And we discuss issues about women, affecting women, um, you know, taboos that women have been boxed into. That is what the original idea, and we've, I thank God that we've been able to hold on to it. We'd have people with disability people. I mean, talk about whatever across society. We've had them all. There are people who've come on the program, and then it is after they came on, then I realized they are politicians or belong to one party or the other. I mean, it's a unifying platform, and I thank God for that. And I take pride in that, that I haven't allowed my identity, my multiple identities, to affect what this platform is supposed to be. And I believe that this is what we have to be as society, as Ghanaians, as human beings, as people. We need to learn from each other. We need to embrace each other. We can be united in diversity. We can agree to disagree without hating each other. One country, actually, let me start, one God, one people, one humanity, one destiny, one love. I'm a woman with super crazy faith in God, but I know God has given us wisdom. Our God, the God I serve, does not discriminate. Therefore, I pray that he gives me wisdom never to discriminate. 13 years on, we're still holding on. Wherever the Lord directs, we shall follow. Thanks for watching. See you same time next week. Bye for now. <laughs>